This is a video from 2016. I'm sitting in this room talking about the plans I have for the channel moving forward. The first thing I'm noticing in this video is how overweight I used to be. At this point, I had just started doing YouTube full time, and I didn't realize just how detrimental it is to your health when you're sitting in front of a computer all day. However, when I'm watching this, the thing I'm immediately drawn to is the apartment behind me. For the better part of a year, this was where I lived, and it was a very small and cramped place. You see this little stove behind me? This was my entire kitchen. This is where I had to cook my food. Here was my bed. It wasn't actually a real bed, it was a sleeping couch, and it was super uncomfortable. I had constant back pains because the bed was so horrible to sleep on. These shelves here were pretty much the only place I had to put stuff, and I didn't even have that much stuff in them because my apartment was so incredibly small, I couldn't really afford to have stuff. The only thing I had room to keep around was my clothes, my computer, and my food. Everything else I had to throw away or leave at my parents' house because I quite literally didn't have anywhere to put it. That's how cramped this place was. This apartment sucked for a myriad of reasons other than just being small though. It got super hot during the summer, unbearably so even. My landlord was also incredibly annoying. She was an old woman who lived above me, and while she was very friendly, she was incredibly lonely and annoying and would always come down knocking on my door whenever I was recording, which meant I had to edit it away from my videos all the time. You guys didn't see it, but it was a major annoyance for me when I lived there. My internet sucked too, it took forever to upload a video, and if I wanted to re set the router, which I had to do often due to its horrible connection, I had to go through this old woman's apartment and risk being stuck in a conversation with her that could take forever. I lived in this crappy apartment for almost two years, and honestly, I don't understand how I endured it. But you know what the funny part about all this is? When I look back at this video and I see this stupid little apartment behind me, I am filled with a sense of longing. And for some inexplicable reason, I find myself missing it. I wish I could go back and live there for just a weekend to bask in the memories, to sleep on that uncomfortable couch just one more time. This little room was where I first decided to seriously start working on YouTube, and it holds a lot of memories for me. I remember recording my Fates Let's Play in this room, which was the first one that really blew up on my channel in a big way. I remember streaming Coring Quest for the first time in this apartment, which was the first time I was live in front of an audience, back when I wasn't even streaming with a functional webcam, and then a little later on when I was inside a TV. Nostalgia to me has always been a constant companion through life. For some reason, I always glorify the past, despite knowing how much certain aspects of it sucked. I always look back on these times and I think, man, I miss that. I wish I could go back. I miss these old friends I used to have, the old commenters in my comment section, the people I used to speak with on outdated platforms like Skype and MSN Messenger. After a recent stream I did, I found myself clicking back on one of the VODs back from 2016 and just looking at the chat, recognizing so many of the old names and wondering what they're doing now. I see some of you guys are still around after all this time and that makes me incredibly happy. But then I immediately felt a little silly. Why would I go from a successful stream where I had a ton of fun and then immediately go back and look at another one from five years ago and feel a sense of longing and even sadness? There's nothing different about this stream except for some of the people in it. So why do I feel sad and why do I want to go back to that? Why shouldn't I just be happy with what I have now? Nostalgia is something I think we all struggle with. We always miss the past, we cherry pick the good memories and we cling to those. We glorify them and make them feel better than what they actually were. It's almost a curse. While I think reminiscing about the past is healthy in small doses, doing it too much can make you lose focus on everything that's good in your life now. Another memory from my past, which actually goes even further back, is when I recorded the last promise on my channel. I had so much fun with this Let's Play that I would actually record up to 10 episodes per day. I hardly had time to eat because I just wanted to get back and do another episode. I still don't understand how I was able to pull that off, but I did for some reason. I just had a never-ending source of energy. This is actually one of the reasons why I haven't returned to The Last Promise since that Let's Play. I'm worried I'm actually going to hate the hack due to being more jaded and noticing all the bad things about it, and the thought terrifies me. Sometimes I go even further back, and I think about much simpler times. Back when I was excited to reach 100 subs on this channel. Back when I only really had a handful of commenters on each of my videos, and I responded to every single one because I had the time for it. Just seeing a notification telling me that I had received a single comment was enough to make me jump with joy. 
I don't really have a point behind making this video. These are just things I've had in my head lately because I found myself really getting trapped by nostalgic thoughts. And I felt like just getting them out in the form of a video. Most of my content today consists of funny bald man doing bad things in Fire Emblem, so I figured maybe you guys would appreciate a bit more real and deeper side of me. But don't worry, we'll go back to being bad at Fire Emblem again very soon, I promise. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to say. I know it's okay to reminisce about the good old times, but I also have to remind myself that in 10 years' time, I'm probably going to look back at the present and have the exact same thoughts. I'm going to miss these times, the people I'm talking to now, the commenters in my comment section now. Who knows if any of you watching this will be around in 10 years from now. Hell, I don't even know if I'll be around, and so I'd probably do well to appreciate this while I can. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching.